Shawnee softball has finished as district runners-up each of the last two seasons. Pitcher Alyssa Windau hopes to lead the Lady Indians even further in her senior year, but the Shawnee Aces had to deal with some unforeseen obstacles. An injured right arm forced her to sit out 10 days, but she returned on Tuesday in top form, striking out 13 in a complete game shutout. As I found out in this week's OIO Prep Profile, Alyssa isn't letting the injury spoil her final softball season at Shawnee. It's stuff, obviously nothing you uh, ever want to experience really. Your senior year is kind of the worst, you know, it's your last time. But um, I feel like I've battled back well. Our team has, has still fought through and gotten wins, and, and I feel like it, it's good to be back. She had some stiffness and some soreness in her arm, and uh, she went down and actually got checked out by the Cincinnati Reds doctor. So it's just basically tendonitis and just time and therapy and, and uh, some, uh, you know, work on that, and she's coming back good. Windau is a force in the circle, averaging two strikeouts per inning throughout her career. She threw a no-hitter and struck out 15 back in March, and Alyssa's 243 punch-outs last year set the single-season strikeout record at Shawnee. It's, it's a sense of control, but it's, it's something when you pitch, you love it. You, you have a drive for it. it. It gets you going. She's an extremely hard worker, and uh, when she doesn't have something perfected, she works hard to get it perfected. She's got that mental toughness that's there, that bulldog effect, and every situation she feels challenged, she does her best. Windau's performance on the field has made her a role model for her teammates and the softball program. As a senior, all of us and, and as captains, we like to, to show the girls what it's like to be a part of Shawnee softball, what, what you should strive to be, the kind of things that you want people to look at you for as a senior and as a, a member of the Shawnee softball team. You know, when I see her, look back to her when she was a freshman, she was that kid that always stood in the back and, you know, she'd get close to the coaches so she could hear what she was doing. And now she's just jumped right into that leadership role, really working with the younger kids to help make them better and trying to lead by example, just by going out there and, and doing the things that people don't like to do. You know, people see that and it helps uh, motivate them as well. Once high school concludes, Alyssa will continue her pitching career at the University of Charleston in West Virginia. My summer ball coach introduced me to the university and um, I went to a camp there and then uh, he recruited me from there. It, it's a sense of gratification knowing that you work so hard and, and you finally get there and you get the recognition. And there's strike three swinging. You know, it's funny because the pitcher that just left there played some summer ball for me for four years, and uh, they're real similar in their styles. And that, that girl, Courtney Fain, was from Urbana, and she was their strikeout leader in Charleston. And so it made for a nice connection uh, with Alyssa. And she'll go down there, and I just know the way she works. If she's not getting the job done, she'll work hard to get the job done. She'll have success, I no doubt in my mind. In Shawnee, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.